Hello students and welcome back to our next lesson in our AS Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at part 2, the drainage basin. The drainage basin. Here on the screen is an illustrated picture of what the drainage basin looks like. The blue channel in the middle is meant to be the river and I've annotated where you can find each part of the drainage basin onto the river. However, I am going to go through it in more detail, just make sure that you can copy this image down. Okay, so here we have our river. Now, as you can see, there's a dotted black line on the outside, and that's what's called the watershed. That's pretty much encompassing all of the river. So inside that is all of the river's contents that we're going to be looking at. Up here, at the start, where the upstream is, is called the source, and this is the origin of the river. Once we make our way downstream, we're going to see that another river here crosses in to our river at the moment. This is called a confluence, and it's the junction where two different rivers will meet. Now don't get confused between a confluence and a tributary and a distributary, because we're about to go through these now. A tributary, which is here, is basically a small channel that flows into the main channel. So we can see our thicker main channel running directly down the middle, and this smaller channel which is flowing into, into the main channel. Then, as you can guess, we have a distributary, which is when a small channel flows out of the main channel. So that's what a distributary is. Then finally, at the end, we have the ending, where the river will flow out into a body of water, and that is called the mouth. Okay, so these are all of the parts of the river that you're going to have to know for your A-level geography. Okay, now we're going to look at the definitions for the parts of the drainage basin. The source is just basically the origin of the river. The mouth is the end of the river where it meets the body of water. So for example, whenever the Thames ends and meets the body of water which runs into the sea. The confluence is the junction where two rivers meet. Don't confuse this to a tributary though, which is the small channel that flows into the main channel. And of course a distributary is the complete opposite, it's just a small channel that flows out of the main channel. And the watershed is the catchment area of the water, marking out the drainage basin. Okay, now we're going to look at drainage basin hydrology. The drainage basin hydrological cycle is used to show all the actions that go on in the river. So it's pretty much a mix between the hydrological cycle and what we're looking at today. It's going to show inputs, flows, storages and outputs. So I've drawn a diagram here on what it should be. So we have our inputs and outputs. The input is precipitation and that can either fall as unimpended fall or as channel fall. The channel fall can then leave as runoff or uh, leave through evapotranspiration. Then we have the different storages that it could fall into once the actual precipitation falls into um, the interception storage, which is vegetation pretty much. Then once it goes from the vegetation, it can go into um, surface storage through through fall or stem flow. Then from the surface, it can go into the soil storage via infiltration and again into groundwater storage via percolation. Again, um, it's going to all the water that's in those storages is going to flow because of gravity and that will uh, send it back either into the river channel or again it will be evaporated through evapotranspiration. Okay so here are some questions. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a go at answering these. Make sure that you hide your notes so you won't be able to have a look at it and cheat from. Okay so here are the answers. If you did get all three of them correct, then congratulations, I would advise you to move on to the next video. However, if you did not, just go through your notes one more time or rewind the video just to see which ones you did wrong. Okay, so this has been the end of the lesson. As always, thank you so much for watching and next time we will be looking at water depth. Until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye.